Hi everyone. Well, I haven't done a wink wine diary in a while, so you know what? It's time to do one. And you know I love their motto, thirsty is no way to live. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be spending another Friday night with you guys. We're going to open a little bit of Wink Wine. We're going to have a little bit of dinner. We're going to have a little bit of chit chat and hopefully a little bit of fun. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means so much to me. I appreciate you guys more than you know. If you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you take a quick second that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Today we are going to be doing Wink. Now I know last Friday you know, I wasn't quite so happy with them, but you, you know what? It's all good. It's all wine, right? So I was going to open up my July box because I've got July and August. Then I skipped August, September, and October. November, they got new owners. They changed their website. I wasn't able to skip, so I called and got them to skip it, even though they told me it should be right under my account. It was not. So again, it came into December, but I had all those little bottles of wine, and I really didn't need any more wine. So I tried to skip again. wasn't online person and customer service it was not that helpful for me at all and so I thought you know what I'll give it a day or two I'll call back maybe I'll get another helpful person but that helpful person said oh yeah they'll help me and then they said oh you know the other customer service shipped it already so yeah so that was kind of like this long thing and how I got into another subscription of wine so anyway I did get online and couldn't cancel January or skip January again but I called and the customer service agent helped me so hopefully next month they will have the website fixed or whatever so that I can skip online because I still do not need any wine and I've got I've got wine everywhere but anyway let's get into the wine because the ones that they picked for me and sent to me I'm amazed I cannot wait to have them all if I had somebody here with me right now we would open all four bottles and we would taste them all oh janet where are you when i need you all righty so anyway love this box thirsty is no way to live but the new owners did away with this box so i am glad i saved this one because i love just doing the thumbnails with this and holding it up and saying thirsty is no way to live and then give a little wink so anyway now it's just a plain brown cardboard box no description on it, so maybe they have less port pirates looking for it. You know what I mean? Well, they don't leave the wink on the doorsteps anyway. You do have to sign for it. But anyway, getting into wine. So before, I had a code that would give someone the first four bottles for twenty nine ninety five. As far as I can tell, that's done away with for the new owners. Um, so there's no link or anything. I mean, I can give you to the, get you to the website if you're interested in checking it out for yourself. But I'm not going to get a free bottle of wine. And as far as I can tell, you're still going to get the $59 other than um, the $59 for the four bottles of wine, free shipping. But the only thing is maybe when you fill out the questionnaire and they offer you those four bottles, maybe that's when they let you know about the deal. So anyway, when you go online, they're going to do a quick questionnaire. They're going to ask you if you like reds, white, or mixed. And then they're just going to ask you about food. They're not going to ask you any other wine-related questions. Just, you know, do you like chocolate? Do you like Skittles? Do you like pizza? Do you like cake? Do you like chocolate? Do you like seafood? There's going to be all kinds of questions like that. From there, they will curate your first four bottles of wine for you. And again, they're going to, of course, answer you in your email. And you're going to get a chance to say yeah I think I'll give it a try or yeah not so much but anyway once you get into it um, from the foods that you like your first questionnaire your reviews that you give how you rate the wines would you buy them again what did you like what didn't you like that's how they keep curating boxes for you and after that your first four boxes after that they're going to um, maybe give you a choice of six or something like that and ones that they recommend for you but of course if you know the wines you like you don't have to take their suggestions at all you can get any bottles of wine that you like on the site 
Alrighty, so for my ones that they picked for me, and again, I wanted to get uh, July to kind of, but it was on the bottom of the ones that I stashed. Yeah, I had to stash my wine to hide it. But so anyway, when I opened up the December box and I saw one of the bottles, I said, yeah, I'm having this wine first. They picked four great wines for me. So I've got two from California. I've got one from France that looks and sounds really, really good. And then I've got one from Portugal. Alrighty, so the one from Portugal, it's a Tariga National, and I guess that's maybe one of their national varietals in Portugal. And they say that this is uh, the wine that they use to make most port wines, but it makes an excellent dry red wine, so I'm excited to try that. This next one is one from the Bordeaux region of France, and I hear that's a really great, great region that you get some really nice grapes there. So this is uh, a Bordeaux. It's a Pavillon Le Terrel. And this is a blend of Cabernet and Merlot. I love both of them. So I know I'm going to enjoy that one. The next one, I've had this brand before. I think I had a Chardonnay. It's Broad and Patterson. It's from California. But it is um, has to do with the Philadelphia Eagles and one of their charities. So every bottle that someone purchased from this, some proceeds go towards autism. So that's really, really great when different companies give back like that. I love this Chardonnay. I know I'm going to love this Cabernet Sauvignon as well. But this next one, I cannot wait to open it up. <coughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, it's still out of cold or whatever that crappy crud is that's going around. So this one has a red cardinal on it. And of course, I think just about everyone knows the significance of seeing a red cardinal in your yard. So when I saw this, it's like, yeah, it's a sign. This is the one I'm going to have. So this is Lone Cardinal. It's from California. And this is a Zinfandel. Focus, please. And I like Zinfandel. I didn't even know Zinfandel was a deep red wine. I always thought it was like the pink Zinfandels and white Zinfandels, just a really, really light one. I had a Zinfandel, a real one, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so, so good. So I'm excited to try this. I am going to use my handy dandy opener and get this open. And then we're going to have a little bit of wine, a little bit of dinner. So I will be right back. Alrighty. So I got my wine open with my handy dandy wine opener. I got my aerator in. I have got my Robin with a Y wine glass because I'm wearing black and Swarovski. I've got my wine glass where she's wearing black and she's got Swarovski jewels on. And I just saw that Robin with a Y is back in business. She is doing some more wine glasses. There was one that was so pretty. I was like, oh, so tempted. It was, it was like one of her more expensive one. There the girl on the wine glass, she had a Swarovski tiara on. So, so pretty. Real flowing, flowing gown that kind of matched, wrapped all the way around the glass. It was like $59.99 for the glass and $10 for shipping. And I was like, I just got a tiara. I need that. And I'm like, I'm going to get that glass. It's going to be the first time I go to put my hand in there to wash it and I'm going to break it. I'm like, I can't do it. But I will be looking for some more of her wine glasses. Just not that one. So anyway, got my aerator in. And again, this is the Lone Cardinal Zinfandel. So we are going to pour a little bit in here. And when I was moving the boxes to figure out what I was going to have for my wine tonight. It's coming out nice and slow. This looks good. I decided I was going to have some spaghetti and meatballs. And sausage and peppers so I had frozen them in December and I didn't get to have them in yet so I went into the Ziploc bags took out a little bit of the sausage and peppers took out a little bit of the meatballs put it in my crock pot and just kind of finished the day went back to work did a few things came out tried to make myself a little bit uh, sophisticated looking or at least dressed up for you guys and uh, yes yeah, so I've got my bowl here of uh, sausage, meatballs, peppers, and spaghetti. Ah, it smells so good. I am dying to have some. Alrighty. 
but this is looking so so good it's got a nice deep purple color it's really coating my glass nice that tells me it's got a pretty decent probably around 14 percent alcohol but it's going to be in my notes when i get there Alrighty, so we are just going to kind of stir this around in the glass a little bit get some more air in there some oxygen let it breathe a little bit like all those fragrances kind of come unleashed come alive come up to the surface and it just and this is where i try to smell what's in here i am so wrong sometimes it scares the living daylights out of me how i can guess some things and then i just try to taste it see what i taste you know at one point i wanted to kind of be like a professional and so I went online, I printed like, it was like a hundred, it's like a dictionary or something. And it was like a hundred pages. And I'm like, holy crap, I just want to taste it. And do I like it? Do I want to buy it again? Do I know what kind of wines I want to buy in the future? Yeah. So yeah, I don't want to be like professional. I like my amateur rating. I just like to have a little bit of fun with it. Alrighty. Ready? I'm going to take a sniff here. It smells like cherry. Cherry and plum something soft probably vanilla that's in here Alrighty, ready going in cheers everyone here's to the weekend i hope you had a fabulous week at work i hope it was issue free you got so much work done you're just so proud of yourself you gave yourself a pat on the back maybe your bosses give you a pat on the back too cheers and i hope you have a great weekend cheers everyone Mm. this is getting nice it's got a nice full full body i feel a little bit of tannins not overly dry which you can just kind of feel it on the top of your palate right here the, you start to swallow it it gets by your taste buds you just just your mouth just starts watering from the acidity and the fruits the plum, the cherry, there's something hot in here and I don't think it's the alcohol, it didn't taste that strong. So I think there's probably some pepper in here, <coughs> in here, some pepper that's in here. I'm giving it a little bit of heat, but it's smooth with vanilla. It's not creamy, creamy, but it's got a really nice texture. It's got some nice qualities here. It's really fruity, it's jammy, but it's dry at the same time. I'm going to have another quick sip. I'm going to have to have a meatball. Check this out. Cheers. Mm. This is going to be a good little sipping wine as well. Oh, wrong side. Wrong side. <coughs> I will be so glad when I stop coughing. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this one's a sausage. This one's a sausage. I'm going to have a sausage. Mm. Really good. This one's a meatball. So good. After I took it out, I put some mozzarella cheese on it. Then I just zapped it in the microwave to get the cheese to melt. And then I sat here for so long that it got kind of hard. So I went and heated it up again, and then I just put some grated Parmesan cheese on it. But it's loaded with the uh, mozzarella as well in here. As you can see, I can't even pick up my meatball. That's too big of a bite. Cheers. Mmm. Perfect. That is so good. So let me tell you a little bit about the wine. So the website's a little bit different than it was before. They used to give you some recommendations and they used to give you like a recipe to, to make. And sometimes I didn't make that recipe because I just had so many different ingredients. <coughs> Sorry about that. But it gave me an idea of what I wanted to make with it. It gave you the rating, how many people have tasted it, what did they rate it between one and five. Yeah, that's, that's not there anymore. So anyway, but it is still fun to check these out. So again, this wine is from California. It's a 2021 Lone Cardinal Zinfandel. And it says, California wines tend to boast big fruit flavors. And that's especially true 
in Lone Cardinal Zinfandel. The grape varietal is a signature of California winemaking, where dry summers and cool nights are perfect for producing juicy, fruit-forward wines. Lone Cardinal Zinfandel boasts lip-smacking, jammy flavors and textures, and it does, that are oh, so indulgent. Experience dark fruit and chocolate notes in every sip, along with layers of peppery herbs and spices. This bold, spicy wine is perfect for barbecues where it can bring out the best in char-grilled chicken and smoky pulled pork. I love pulled pork, pork beef, pulled beef, just that barbecue. Love that. To experience maximum flavor, let the robust red breathe a little bit in a decanter before serving. You know, and it might have been on FabFitFun. When I was just kind of going through their shop, I think I saw a decanter. And I thought, wow, that would really be nice for some of these wines. But I'm just sitting here by myself, so I really don't want to pour the whole thing in a decanter. But anyway, that would be fun if you were having guests. Put it in a nice decanter. This would be the centerpiece on your table. So anyway, the notes are luscious, full, and jammy. It's got notes of dark plum, black cherry, vanilla, and white pepper. It's got a full body, dry, and 13.9% alcohol. So for the directions how to serve it, it says decant or pop open 20 minutes before serving. Pairs well with Mexican. I got, sorry, pepper falling out of my mouth. Yeah, that was TMI. That was too much. So pairs well with Mexican, barbecue, veggies, pasta with red sauce. Alrighty, so that was my wink wine for December. The Sinfandel is so, so good. Looking forward to trying these other ones, especially this, um, the one from the Bordeaux region of France. Looking forward to trying all of them. Not sure if I'm going to mix them up, up with maybe the other wines that I have from Wink, or maybe it'll be the, wing, the wines from Splash. Anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means so much to me, and I appreciate you guys more than you know. I hope everyone goes out and has a fabulous, fabulous weekend. Love to hear what you're doing this weekend, what your plans are, if you're going out for dinner, or, you know, when the kids were here over Christmas, we wanted to do the ice castles, but we didn't have enough cold, enough snow. We didn't, well, we didn't have any snow, and it wasn't cold enough this week. Last week, I think they opened them up in Maple Grove. Looks like so much fun. We missed it by a couple of weeks. But anyway, if you're going out to the ice castles, things like that, where they just kind of mold all these things in the ice and they make forts and they have little bonfires and hot chocolate stands and slides made out of ice and tunnels and just all the lights at night. So if you get to go to one of those, it's really, really a lot of fun. Wear some boots, wear some warm clothing, have a blast with it. Anyway, love to hear what you're doing else for dinner plans, different wines or drinks that you're having. And I hope everyone just goes out, has a fabulous time. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much, and I can't wait to see you in our next video. Cheers, everyone. Love you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>